HubSpot versus MailChimp, which is better for business? Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be doing a comparison between HubSpot and MailChimp and which is better for business. So starting off with both of these platforms, I'm going to navigate you through what these platforms really look like. And then later on, we're going to compare their pricing and the different plans that they offer. So first off on HubSpot, if you create your account, you can just add what kind of industry you're in. So if you're in accounting, you're going to add your job role, and then you're going to add a company name and then you're going to add the number of people that are in your company you can add a website I will just copy a Wix site that I have. So after that, HubSpot is going to ask you what kind of experience you already have, if you have used CRM before, if you're new to HubSpot, or if you know your way around it. So we're going to continue without knowing much about HubSpot. And then you want to see what kind of tools you really need. So let's say you want a general overview, and then you're going to get started with HubSpot. It's going to load up your basic dashboard. So over here, you're going to get a demo tour. You're going to click on start demo, and now you can see over here you have a basic sales dashboard you can click on create a dashboard to make another dashboard you can also add reports and have different actions as well so if you scroll down this is just a sample template that they provide you to work on on the top you can see your different contacts so all of your contacts companies calls everything is going to be over here then you have your conversation chat flows inboxes after that you have your marketing your ads emails landing pages social marketing and seo marketing as well including your different campaigns if you're running a special sale campaign you can find that over here after that you have your sales so any kind of deals forecasts and tasks you have regarding sales and then you also have your documents meetings playbooks and codes after that you have your general ticketing service and this is the best thing about hubspot which is something you're not going to be able to find on mailchimp is their ticketing service i find that to be a lot more helpful then just having a basic MailChimp business manager. After that, you also have your sequences and workflow automation, and then you have your general analytics tool. So this is just a general look at the HubSpot CRM tool, how the HubSpot platform works. And you can see over here that you can view your account, you can see your billings and uh, personal features over here, your account features. And then if you click over here, you're gonna be able to see different app marketplaces where you can integrate more apps into the HubSpot tool. And then you can click on leave, over here and then start your own little automation so you can start adding your own company data once you have left the demo template provided by HubSpot and you can see over here that these are your contacts, then your conversations, you can go into your inbox and see all of your previous messages like so, they're going to appear like so. And then you have all of your basic general features. Obviously, I haven't created any of these advertisements or campaigns or set this account up, but usually it's very easy to navigate. You don't have to look around. It's all present at the top and it's very easy and self-explanatory for the most part. Now, moving on to MailChimp. MailChimp is primarily used by most people as a email marketing service and you might have heard of MailChimp as an email marketing service. You might not even heard of it as a general business manager. Now on MailChimp you can see on the left you have your toolbar where you can create different email templates and different campaigns. You can create a website and a landing page and you can also create multi-channel designs. If you scroll down you can create embedded forms, you can create pop-up forms, sign in landing pages, you can also create surveys, ads, social posts and postcards using MailChimp. And and for these design elements, I do think that MailChimp really does do it well. Although it is still lacking in comparison to sites like Wix, it does provide you with a good functionality. Now below that, you have your general audience. So all of your contacts are present over here. You can view all of your contacts and then you can see who has signed up for what. So you can see a sign up form, a tag, segment, surveys, the people, how these people have joined your contact list. Below that, you have your campaign. So any kind of email campaign that you're running, you're going to be able to monitor that over here. And after that, you have your automations over here as well. So you have your transactional emails like, oh, you forgot to purchase this item. You left it in your cart. You can automate all of that stuff using their automations. Below that, you have your website and MailChimp allows you to make your website for free. It does provide you with a basic template to edit as well. And I find it to be good. It allows you to view your traffic highlights as well. And you can also start selling products and offering services using your MailChimp website so you don't have to go to another third-party platform to develop your website. Below that you have your content studio and this allows you to monitor all of the things that you're doing. So your creative assistant, your products, your Instagram, your social media management, all of that is going to be present over 
over here. Below that, you have your app integrations. You can also add more apps to the MailChimp form to make it more of a CRM platform instead of being primarily a email marketing form. So you can add many different e-commerce platforms like um, Big Cartel. You can add Shopify, Equid. You can add Squarespace, WordPress. You can add Adobe Photoshop and Canva and many more. So after that, you have your general search button where you can search for any feature that you're looking for and then you have your basic account settings so this is how both of these platforms look generally i do feel like hubspot is a lot more cleaner and it does the job a little bit more better than mailchimp but now let's move on to the actual pricing of both of these services now starting off with hubspot hubspot has these free tools that you can use for example their email marketing ad management landing pages shared inboxes their free sales tools include live chat basic bots emailing teams, codes and calls. You also have their ticketing, email scheduling, live chats and calling. And you have data sync, historical sync, app, marketplace integrations and contact management all within their free version, which they call the plus version. Now, the basic difference between HubSpot and MailChimp is that if you go onto the free version, they do give you a marketing CRM, a assistant, a website builder and a MailChimp domain and a forum and landing page. It is quite lacking as compared to the HubSpot uh, features because it gives Gives you operational tools and sales tools and marketing tools all separately while mailchimp does provide you with all of these features it does clump them together in a way that is not very efficient to use so that's for their free versions if you move on to their overall higher priced versions let's go to the marketing section over here on hubspot and you can see over here hubspot can be quite a lot more expensive as compared to MailChimp. Both are expensive, but HubSpot can be even more expensive. So if you have a thousand marketing contacts and if you have a essentials plan on MailChimp, it is still not comparable because you're going to be paying $45 a month for the starter version on a HubSpot. But in comparison, you're only going to be paying $10 for the essentials version. And the essential version allows you to send to up to 50,000 contacts. So let's say let's, let's keep it at 15,000. So the essentials will allow you to send at $135 with over 15,000 but on the starter version with only a thousand people you're going to be paying 45 and on MailChimp if you go to a 1500 people you're going to be paying $20 so that is slightly more pricier than MailChimp in general if we were to compare the features let's say the starter version here on the marketing platform of HubSpot includes forms, email marketing, landing pages, live chats, and you also get email in application support. If you go for the professional version, you're going to get multilingual content, you get dynamic personalization, you get ABM tools and automation. So this is a company-based automation with uh, scoring properties, templates, and out-of-the-box report. You also get video hosting and management, contact with company scoring, you get A-B testing, ad optimization, and contact create attributions as well on the professional version. So although the HubSpot professional version is quite more pricey than the MailChimp, even the MailChimp standard version, I do think that the features that it provides are 10 steps ahead of MailChimp. And depending on what you want, if you want to use this platform as primarily your email marketing service, you can go with MailChimp. But if you want a overall business CRM tool, then you can definitely go for HubSpot. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to choose the best business software for you make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next video